The National Assembly caucus from Benue State, under the platform of the ruling Our Progressive Congress, APC, accused Reverend Father Isin Talia of running the Benue State government like a parish. The lawmakers at a press, con at a press briefing in Abuja called on President Ahmed Bola Tinubu to quickly prevail on the governor before he runs the state aground. According to them, Aliyah's tendencies could cost the party a defeat in subsequent elections in the state if it was not quickly called to order. The leader of the caucus and senator representing Benue Northwest, Senator Titus Zam, disclosed that the matter had been reported severally to the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, SGF, Senator Georgia Kume, who has been mediating to see that things were normalized. Quote, having watched with apprehension the absence of democratic leadership in Benue State in the last six months, exemplified by the arrogant and egocentric conduct of Governor Isin Talia, we have decided to draw the attention of Mr. President and other leaders of APC in Nigeria to seek their immediate intervention before the fortunes of APC in Benue State are totally destroyed, unquote. The caucus said, the fourth had disclosed that, quote, Governor Alia has become more emboldened and has continued to treat us and the party in general in the most dis disgusting, disrespectful, and disingenuous manner, unquote. Joining us is the state APC Publicity Secretary, Benway State, Daniel Ihoum, and a public affairs analyst, Sam Agua. Gentlemen, welcome to Plus Politics. Thank you, sir, Bob. What would you make of the remark of the APC National Assembly Congressional Caucus on His Excellency, the Reverend Father Governor of Benway State? Well, uh, I think it's a mix. It's a mixed bag here. Because uh, on one hand, the party is telling us members of the public that it is not the same. It's not together. There are cracks. The second perspective to it is that the party or the National Assembly members from Benue are saying His, uh, His Excellency, George Akume, the SGF, is not in control of the party. I say that because they have said they have tried several times to get him to comment on these issues, but he has failed. So it means the party is no longer in the hands of the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, which I think that doesn't look uh, a correct picture, but that is the impression created. And I think the third uh, very important impression created is, I think it, 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 the focus is more around partisan politics than government. So I think these three impressions are quite strong. They have proven to us that APC as a party have its issues, they cannot be resolved, and when they want to call on the national chairman and the president of the country to resolve their issues, they must resort to a press conference, a live press conference. Then we have to go on some retreat, take some key decisions, and come forward. But I think to make it much more clearer, what the National Assembly members did is just a follow-up of what the APC chairman in the local governments in Benue uh, showed for some weeks ago. They came out and uh, critiqued or argued or made a case or complained that the governor was not uh, honoring the agreement he had with them or keeping to the terms the party won. So I think by and large, APC has demonstrated uh, just like their sister PDP, that uh, they, they are not together in Benue. Uh, uh, let me start with your last remark. The defenestrated local government chairman, to the best of my understanding, were the PDP elected chairman that the governor initially said he was going to work with, but ultimately sent packing. So, 
which chairman are you talking about? The ones he, according to the caucus of his party, the ones that he has unilaterally appointed as administrators or the, the differentiated ones that were actually elected on the platform of PDP, which he had initially said he was going to work with, but ultimately sent back in. Let's get that clarification for our viewing public, right? 23 party chairman of the APC rose from a meeting. Oh, the party chairman, the, the local party chairman, not the no, local government chairman. Party chairman, not, not, not elected, not democrat, uh, democratically elected chairman, the party chairman of the party APC. Okay, at the local, the at the local level in Benue. At the local level. Oh, they fantastic. To, so, yeah, they were the first to fire the first shot. So what you are seeing from the National Assembly is actually a second shot. Okay. So, yes. he speaks to the fact that, uh, he speaks to the fact that the recurrent misfortune of uh, distinguished Senator Akume is third time, third time slapping him in his political life in Benue. Because when he anointed the first governor to succeed him, that governor ultimately fell out with him. He again anointed Autumn. And Autumn also fell out with him. He, for the third time, anointed another character in the person of the incumbent and is looking like that uh, Reverend Father uh, has somewhat also fallen out with him. But it seems, given what you've just uh, told us now, fortunately told us about the party machinery at the local level up to the elected representatives of the party at the National Assembly, uh, they seem to still be loyal to him, but he has lost the governor. Uh, is my summation right by your own understanding? I, I don't think it's correct. Uh, 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 he has not lost. I think what is happening is, is, is like a football match. Mind you, playing Arsenal. The fans on either side or on both sides trying to outsmart the other. Georgia Kuman and Alia, as far as they have made us to understand their relationship is excellent. They told us that. I am not a party person. I'm speaking from the realm of a public commentator. They have consistently maintained that there is love amongst them. But again, what seems to be happening is, like you were trying to trace some chronology, some history of how uh, the, the, the uh, Senator George Akume, uh, you were annoying somebody, some problem will come. All these issues, particularly what is happening now, it's not about Senator George Akume, in my understanding, and Governor Alia. No. It is about, I don't want to call them hangers on, it's about what we call stakeholders. People that believe they hold the party together at the various levels, the, the gladiators in the party, either for whatever reason, at the moment, putting pressure on Senator George Akume, or maybe again, putting pressure on the Governor, I sent Alia. So it is, it's an issue of I, I want to believe people trying to assert, people trying to create some space within and play. And that space, seemingly, it looks as if it's not coming as quickly as many would expect. Hence, I can guess that those. Oh, oh, okay, Sam, Sam let, let me see if your colleague is, is back on now. Is the gentleman back on? Uh, can we do can we do audio with him because he's uh, strategically the spokesperson of the APC in Benway? Yes, he will know better how they run their show. I'm speaking as a public analyst. Uh, uh, Sam, sir, the the good thing about your opinion is the seeming non-partisan uh, partisan nature of your opinion. Because you're speaking as a public analyst who ordinarily uh, has no dog in the fight. I want to None believe. At all. Uh, None. I, I don't have. Incidentally, 
uh, being somebody who doesn't belong to any political party, uh, you see, I, I told somebody a while ago before coming here that political parties will continue to be our problem in this country. Agree that we need political parties to get into governance. They will remain that problem. Because inability of organizing themselves and trying to be, at least give some semblance of ideology creates issues that ordinarily we in the public space come to get to hear about it. Why should National Assembly members be on the national television against a governor six months in office? These things should worry us. These things should make us understand that these parties, uh, uh, they are really, really our problem. They are really, really our problem. I, I think, uh, with due respect to you, I think you are a bit to cos a bit cosmetic about the way you because the members of the National Assembly would not ordinarily have been sitting before TV cameras if they were not to have gotten the nod of the Secretary to the Government of the Federation who ordinarily is the leader of the party in their state. I know that the constitution of the APC ascribes leadership to the governor, but who ordinarily should be the juror, sorry, the de facto, the de facto leader of the party in their state, and that, that you seem to be convinced there's, that there is no problem between the governor and Senator Akume uh, speaks a bit to me uh, with a dint of naivete. Uh, why am I saying that? Yeah. Oh, okay, re respond to that, respond to that. You, 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 you may be right. If you recall, I made it very clear. The, the two gentlemen have made us to understand there's no problem between them. And you also made Two politicians, some yeah. other, two politicians yeah. told you, two, politicians, two, two politicians, politicians told you that there is no problem. Sam, Sam, wait, yeah. Sam, wait. Let, let's get this right. I, 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 a political punditry is something that I, I often do. But are you telling me that you are ostensibly taking the opinions of two politicians who told the public that they don't have problems between them, and yet you are having, you are having factions building up in the party that they both belong to in their state, and you seem to believe the two politicians? Do you? Let me make it clear to you. I cannot believe them. I have not believed them. I am giving you an impression they have given us. Because you see them hold hands together. You see them go to places and say, we now oh, have, well. We now have the I official cannot... spokesperson. We now have the official spokesperson of the APC in Benway State uh, with us. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, my brother. You are, you are now, for, for, for this show, at this point, at this juncture, you are the illuminator. You should be bringing some light into some of the... So, what is happening with your party in your state? Why are some people frontally coming out to condemn the governor of... to condemn the conduct of a governor that belongs to your party. Are you there? Yes, the problem in people say can be best described, you know, I can hear the gentleman in the studio. Is, is he being heard by my public? The, there is no... 
Để một Oh glory Okay let, let, let me go back to let me go back to Sam in the interim whilst uh, we sorting out uh, sorting out the gremlins besieging the line of uh, uh, Hello Sam are you still there yeah, yeah, I'm with you I'm fully on uh, Sam, I, I think ahead. a gentleman was about telling me too that uh, there is no, <laughs> I was hearing there is no, but I'm sitting there, sitting there as a skeptic, you know, very I, skeptical. I am one too. I am one too. You are one too? Yes. But uh, then, I, I, I think it's about time. Well, what would you think? I, I think it's about time, like the members of the National Assembly have, uh, uh, have seemingly called for, because we've seen it, we've seen it in, uh, in Ondo, we've seen it in, in, in Rivers, they seem also now to also be calling for the president to help them to intervene and help them sort the mess that they seem to have created in their state. What was your opinion of that? You, you see, largely, uh, I think the National Assembly members from Benue were not very tactful. They have a good point. They have their issues. They are complaining of the governor being dictatorial. They are complaining that there is nothing on ground to show. A, a lot of stuff. But I think the missing link in all this is simply the fact that they did not quite gauge the mood of the people of Benue. Because sadly, uh, for some many years, if you like over eight years or about eight years, uh, most Benue people saw themselves practically in the gutter. And somehow, uh, some past months, some light is trickling in. Uh, like I, I, I can talk specifically about the case of my mother, who is a pensioner and uh, gets her uh, alert. Steady. So these issues are there. So when they came up, cashing in on the, let me say the, 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 the euphoria that greeted the 23 chairman of the party, who incidentally uh, spoke and have left the scene, and they came on. If only they have changed the mood, they might have taken some, maybe a bit of different approach to this. But you said something that struck me. You said for National Assembly members to have gone ahead to do a press conference, a live press conference at that, is a clear indication that they might have gotten some strong support from the SGF. I recall you made that statement. It's also something I, I also find uh, agreeable. Okay, Sam, because Sam, Sam please. Because uh, sorry, sorry for my interjection, Sam. I, I really want us to use every opportunity we have to countenance uh, the opinions of uh, uh, you know, one of the uh, the spokesperson of the APC in uh, in Benue, sir. How would you respond to some of the things you may have heard or you, you in, about uh, this uh, unfolding drama in Benue? So, uh, so uh, the problem of Benue is quite uh, difficult. It's all the This is so bad. So, 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 so bad. Uh, we, may, we may have to go back to Sam to wrap up uh, the show. Sam. I'm here. Uh, Sam, I, I, I don't know. I, I, are you a Catholic or? <laughs> are you a Catholic? Uh, because this... Well, well, if, you, if you want a real answer, I'm Pentecostal. I, 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 was I, going to, I could have simply said I'm a believer. Okay, I, I was just going to say, you know, I, I was going to say that this, this juju that you are using for, for self uh, this thing is seeming like, uh, is seeming like what the members do you, do of you the... Do you know something? 
Dan is my very good friend, the publicity secretary of APC. We are very ah, good but, but you so are, I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't use Juju or him. Ah, but you have so <laughs> dominated the show now that I, I I was almost going to accuse you of what you're accusing Father Alia of. That you, you see, you, you came, you are running this show like a parish. Uh, uh, anyway. Let me, see, uh, let, me, let me comment on that briefly. It, 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 it's very uncharitable when people make statements like a, a governor running something like parish. But, but why I cannot talk much about it is that maybe the, 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 the representatives were referring to how within the, the APC, uh, the governor may be running things like a parish. Because for us on the street or in the rural area, uh, we are seeing trickles of things happen. And we really don't know. We, we are aware that there is a full ESCO in place. There is a full parliament in place. The civil service, the bureaucracy is running. So we really don't know how decisions are taken as members of the public. But we imagine that every a, a, a apartment of government is involved. The legislators are doing their job. The, so, the so just are like doing in, their job. So, so, when you, so when you say someone is running something sir, like a parish, sir, as a closing remark, just like in uh, just like in Rivers and Ondo State, the people of the state are much more in tune with what they like to see rather than what the politicians want. Am I right? Well, that is a scenario here in Benway. The Let's scenario here in Benway is people want to see governance and less of partisan politics. Thank you very much. Let's leave it at that juncture. Thank you so, so much. It's unfortunate that tried as we did, we could not get as a result of uh, telecoms challenges. As a result of my juju, uh, you, you said it now. <laughs> Have a lovely, lovely time. Thank you. Uh, Christmas uh, and holiday season. <laughs>